Thank you so much for tuning in today. I will be talking about bread, white bread. And yes, I did say white bread. I am Spanish and as a good Spaniard, I eat great white bread, crusty, incredible baguettes. And I will be taking you to my favorite place. It's called Neater's. It is in my side of town in Gilbert, Arizona. I'm gonna pick up a couple of baguettes and when I get home, I will be fixing some pam tomacat or bread with tomato with some manchego cheese, so stay with me. Thank you so much for joining me back in my kitchen. And I got my bread. Isn't this amazing? Look at this. It's pretty big, right? This is $1.99 and it's crusty and it's so, so good. If you speak Spanish or you know anyone who speaks Spanish, um, you probably have heard the three Bs. Bueno, bonito y barato. It's bueno, so good, bonito, beautiful, barato, inexpensive. And the best thing is that they don't use bleached flour. I cannot stand anything that is made with bleached flour. I don't see the need for it. And this bread, I can assure you, does not have bleached flour. Although this is not a sponsored video by Neaters, they were kind enough to give me two free baguettes for this video. So I really appreciate this, Neaters, and you know you've got my business. I will be making pan tomacat or pan con tomate, depending on where you are from Spain. You will see it one way or another. I grew up bilingual in the northeast region of Spain called Catalonia, but there's no wrong way of saying it. We all eat it and it's delicious. So we will be needing some bread. Crusty is perfect. And some tomatoes. I don't like using Roma tomatoes. I try to get the ones called on the vine. They're a little bit more juicy, so it's perfect for this dish. Some salt, some olive oil. I also like to add some garlic. And of course, today we're gonna be using Spanish cheese manchego. This one comes from La Mancha. And it was about $14 at Costco, and I love it because it says under the price, it says thank you. So you're welcome, Costco. Thank you for bringing cheese from Spain. Now that it's all cut, I am going to take a Susanna approach, which is I'm going to put it in the oven. I will use a tray and I'm just gonna put it in here. Just... Doesn't have to look pretty. Some of it is right on top, that's fine. I just want it to be a little bit more um, toasty so that I can rub the garlic on it. It makes it a lot easier. I just got it out and it was about eight minutes at 400 degrees. So it's not really brown, it's just toasted enough that it will be great for this recipe. If you have sensitive ears, you don't have to worry this time. I didn't burn anything, the fire alarm did not go off. But if you wish to watch my video where the fire alarm went out a few times on me, just check it out. While the bread is cooling down, I will be slicing the manchego. I transfer the bread to the board, it's warm. And because it's a little bit toasted, now that I have my peeled garlic and I go like this, can you hear it? It's perfect. You don't want to rub too much because just a little goes a long way. I cut a couple of tomatoes and the next step is to rub every single slice just enough that you can see some of the red juice. 
I know this might be a little weird to you, but let me tell you, it's delicious. And if you've ever tried the Italian bruschettas, it's kind of the same concept. You're adding tomato flavor to this amazing bread. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of salt on each of them. Next, I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. Make sure you get this type because otherwise the flavor is just not the same. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on each slice. So this is it guys. Wasn't it simple? If you want a part in your mouth, this is it. Delicious. You must give this a try and tell me what you think. Thank you, Neaters, for providing this bread today. The recipe was perfect with it. If you would like to find out more about Neaters, you can follow the link below. If you are in an area where there is a Neaters and you would like to get their free app, I believe that there will be uh, some kind of free item that you might get, whatever the promotion is at that time, I will link that below as well. If you have any questions about this recipe, I would love to hear from you. Just type it below and uh, I will go ahead and respond to you. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you liked the content of this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does mean a lot to me that you are interested in these videos and please subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining at home with Susanna today and you have a great day.